Hi, and welcome to another training video. Today's video, we're going to take a look at Map Info, and I've had a question about labeling in Map Info and using more than one field in the label. So, as you may know, we can turn on our default labels here, or automatic labels, and this will then label the regions or the points or the lines uh, with whatever we have selected as our label. Now if we come into here, so this is the properties of the layer, we can see on the label display tab we can choose to label with and it shows us the columns within the data for that particular table. Now what we also have at the bottom is expression and this is how I can actually build a compound label from using more than one of the column headers. So here I've chosen ID and I can also choose district name. Now this causes some problem if I just put them together like that ID district name because when I look at the syntax it says the syntax is incorrect. What I need to do is concatenate these two together or join them. So I'm going to put space and space in the expression and now when I verify it tells me the syntax is correct so I'll go ahead and label these now with a number and the name. However you'll notice that the number is immediately next to the name at the moment. So let's go and fix that. So let's double click on there again. We'll go back into here and let's just go straight into the expression. We don't just want to join the ID and the district name. We also want to put some text and the text is two empty spaces. Again the empty spaces must be joined together. So ID, join, empty spaces, join, district name. Verify the syntax again. That's fine. And I click OK. Here now we have the number and then a space followed by the name. But this is still not what the person was asking for. What they were asking for was how they could have just the number showing on the map and the number and the name showing in the legend at the side. This is also possible, so let me change this back so it's just the default. So here we're just going to have the ID. So our labels on the map are showing just the ID, and what we want to do is create a legend. Now we can do this in two ways. We can either have a legend which is associated with this map, or we can use it on a layout. So I can put this map into a layout. So I'll create a new layout and put that particular map on the layout and I'll just resize this so that it fits. And you'll notice that the, the window goes in the same size as the window depending on the resolution, um, not depending on the same size as my piece of paper. Now what I'm going to do now is just double click inside here and now it's as if I'm working back in Map Info so I can zoom in and out in this window. And the first thing I'm going to do is resize this so that it fits pretty much inside my frame. So that's a good fit inside the frame and I'm just checking that all the labels, yep the labels are good enough for that so I don't need to change the labels here at all. What I do need to do is now add a legend. So back on the layout ribbon I have the option here for legend but only if I've got the map itself selected. Otherwise it doesn't know what I want the legend for. So I need to click on that frame that has the map in it and now I can create a legend. So here we want a legend, we want to use the table Surrey District that we've got open, so I'll just say next. I'm just going to use all the defaults there, click next again, and now here I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to say, rather than Surrey District legend, I'm going to say nothing there in the title, and what I'd do is I'd put a text box underneath which has Surrey Districts. Um, down below here I'm going to say unique values in column ID, yeah that's fine, that would be if I had multiple values of the ID, in this instance I don't, they're all the same. So in my style name we're going to do the same as we did previously when we concatenated together the ID with the district name, so once again we come down to expression and we're going to use the column ID space and space quotes space space quotes space and space the other column I want to use is district name 
I've verified the syntax again and it's correct so now I can finish. This will create a legend here, if I just move that down. You'll see the legend here has the numbers down the side and it then also has the basically the definition of what those numbers relate to on the map. The only thing I wouldn't be happy with this is the size of these blue boxes here. Double click and it lets me edit them and over here I have the size of the blue boxes. I can just take these down to 10 points and OK and that shrinks them down. Okay, that's all I've got for you today. I hope that's been useful, and thank you for listening.